Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory and its partners rely on timely development and deployment of advanced materials and manufacturing to support a variety of national security missions. Data science plays an essential role in the lab's mission fulfillment, and its Data Science Institute is the laboratory's hub for big machines, big data, and big ideas, and operates at the confluence of high-performance computing, rich scientific data sets, and innovative technologies. Interdisciplinary teams are applying machine learning techniques to remove bottlenecks and speed up the time to deployment in the materials and advanced manufacturing development cycle. Stockpiled stewardship is one of the most important missions here at the lab. A lot of the work that I do really revolves around building computational tools that allow other people to do their jobs more efficiently and more effectively. And so to some extent, this means building diagnostic tools that help us prove the reliability of our existing stockpile, and then developing other tools that help us design the stockpile of tomorrow. A detonator is a small device that typically uses some sort of electrical stimulus to set off a small bit of explosive material. And the explosion from that is intended to set off a much larger brick of explosive. And so the idea is if a detonator doesn't work as expected, you might not get the explosion when you want it, or in fact, you might get it when you don't want it. Traditionally, the way that we determine whether or not our detonators are going to work without actually setting them off in the field is by building hundreds of analogous detonators and subjecting them to long aging experiments before then detonating them to perform our diagnostics. The problem with this approach is that it's time consuming and expensive. So we asked if we could use data science and machine learning to discover hidden features in our characterization data that would allow us to make these determinations without always performing these long aging experiments. We use data science to develop advanced diagnostic models that allow us to predict performance of our detonators. We're also using data science in conjunction with atomistic simulations to improve our understanding of the microscopic phenomena that govern chemistry in materials under extreme conditions. Traditionally, scientists either use quantum mechanics, which is very predictive but also computationally expensive, or molecular mechanics, which by comparison is very computationally efficient, but relies on interatomic models that can be very challenging to parameterize. We developed machine learned interatomic models to kind of give us the best of both worlds. These models recovered structure, dynamics, speciation, and kinetics with quantum accuracy, all while affording orders of magnitude increases in computational efficiency. This has been really exciting to work on because these models are allowing us to work in previously inaccessible problem spaces, and our models have been experimentally validated. So this is a really exciting time to work in the lab because there has been a really uh, a shift in how we think about approaching problems. Now data science and machine learning is being integrated into everything that we do, and it's had a transformative effect on our science. Learn more at data-science.llnl.gov.